there are four valves in the heart, two on the right side and two on the left side. And the valves are there to keep blood flow going in one direction through the four chambers of the heart. On the right side are the tricuspid valve and the pulmonic valve. And they take the dark venous blood from the body into the right side of the heart and send the blood flow to the lungs. After the blood picks up fresh oxygen in the lungs and gets rid of carbon dioxide, the blood flow comes back from the lungs and goes through the mitral valve into the main pumping chamber of the heart, the left ventricle, before that blood flow is sent through the aortic valve and out to the rest of the body. When we talk about valve disease, you'll hear us describing valve dysfunction, usually in one of two ways. Either the valve is leaky, so blood flow is going back and forth across that valve, and you'll hear terms like insufficiency or regurgitation used to describe that disease process, or the valve becomes restrictive, not allowing blood flow across the valve, and you'll hear a term like stenosis used to describe that process. Sometimes a valve can be both regurgitant and stenotic, or leaky and narrowed. When we talk about valve disease, the, disease, the valves that are most commonly diseased are the valves on the left side of the heart, the mitral valve and the aortic valve in adult patients.